Oh, no, 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 Michael wasn't here first. Michael, I'm going to get you. Just hang in there. Tom's on the line. How you doing, Tom? Hello, John. How are you? I'm wonderful. What's on You're your mind? You're right on tonight. Who the hell wants to climb Mount Everest? For <laughs> God's sake. Well, why can't you just let us... Life, for God's sake, man. <laughs> what a holy mack with these guys. But, the, you know... And by the way, she died on the way down, not the one on the way up. Yeah, I know. I know. You know, a stupid... What the hell? I'm going to... Tell you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to swim the Pacific. I get all these nuts following me then. <laughs> They won't make it, yeah. Hey, may maybe maybe you'll find that Texas-sized island of uh, of uh, garbage bags that's uh, out there. Ah, Jesus, what's the matter with these people? They want to do this and they want to do that. And who cares? The only guy I know was Hillary that climbed it because he was the first guy. That's the first right. guy to do it, yeah. And, hey. and, and, and these guys there, the stripper, is that stripper? Yeah, yeah. There's 32, I know. Yeah. You know, after that, nobody cares. It's like the first, like the people on but, the moon. But, but Tom, Tom, think about it, okay? I think he climbed it in 51 or 52 or 53, around there, okay? Oh, a long time before, ago. Before, New Zealand. Tom, before anybody climbed Mount Everest, okay, I can assure you that if I was living at that time, I would have no problem sleeping peacefully at night knowing that nobody's ever climbed that mountain. I would have no compulsion whatsoever. i got to climb that mountain. i got to climb that mountain. i got to go. Hey, here I go. You know, like, uh, <laughs> come on. Let's screw balls, all these people. Well, yeah, Tom, I'm not you saying there's... Be, I'm not just saying, be a psychiatrist, some of these people. I'm not saying there's screwballs. I'm just oh, saying, like, yeah, I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying, my goodness, if, if that's what you've got to do to get meaning out of your life, I feel <laughs> sorry for you. Look, I was at sea, and I was at some terrible storms at sea. No, that's 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 scary. That's yeah, but if you're if you're in a terrible storm at sea and you're fighting for your country, that's totally different. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that's yeah, that's yeah, noble. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's got purpose to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you're paid for it as well. You're on the ship and you're getting paid. But the point is, that's a part of the job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 it's some terrible. I watch it. We lost men overboard. Yeah, and people like people that go down into mines as well. Oh you my know? God, that's that's the worst thing out, I think. Yeah, I mean, oh, miners. God, I wouldn't go down no mine for nobody. Miners get paid pretty good money, and for good reason, because oh. that's a dangerous yeah, thing to yeah, do. Yeah, no, there's 65 of them there lost in some mine now on the on the news today. Yeah. Uh, this is in China, I think. Well, I, 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 I missed that one, Tom. I mean, that there's there's stories of miners losing their lives all the time. Oh yeah, in China it's every day. Yeah. But. Uh, these people there, these extreme, we've been climbing mountains and doing this, and 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 you know what gets me? These people are running. It's about it's about thirty degrees, and they're all running, and they got a thing on their wrist, and they're timing it, and they're half dead from running. <laughs> Human beings can't run. You've got to have four legs to run. Human beings should walk, not well, run. Well, t uh, Tom, um, y you know, like, uh, yeah, remember George Burns? Yeah. I mean, the guy had horrible health habits, you know, drank and smoked cigars. He lived to oh, be yeah. 100. He was I mean, God one time, wasn't he? If, any, if anybody was an advertisement for bad health <laughs> habits, it was George Burns, you know? I mean, and he made a movie, he was God in it. You know what, though, uh, Tom? Uh, the people that are running, you know, they, 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 they look better than the people that are sitting on the couch watching TV and drinking beer all day. Well, all I do is walk. I walk every day. And so, I'm, I'm, I'm probably fitter, and I'm getting on in years. I'm fitter than these people running. Next thing you hear them, they drop dead with a heart attack. Well, not everybody is blessed with a, you know, just a, you know, an Adonis-like constitution like you, Tom. <laughs> and I have a few beers every weekend, <laughs> and now and again. It's not doing me any harm. And I have my coffee and my tea, and what the heck? No, just say if you drink a lot of coffee, you live longer. So you're telling me that you don't have to do all that stuff to yeah, find to yeah, find I, life, I, Tom? I, I wake up and there's a blue sky there and a nice sunshine, and I'm happy as a I'm as happy as a pig, and you know what? So yeah, you, you know I like to go out and look up, and I feel good. A nice sunny day. That's all you need. Man, you should you should start doing self improvement seminars, Tom. You could probably get paid like twenty thousand bucks a gig. You but know? If I wrote a book about my life, I would start it over as a young kid. And I, I did it all by myself, but I travel all around the world. And, you know, I could write a book. You started. I would take the part of. You started out as a child, right? I was 17. I left off, and I went away on my own. 16, 17. I went away on my own. I was out in Iraq. I was all over the world, down Brazil, Argentina, Australia, all over the place. And I roughed it. I really roughed it. I was on the ships, but uh, you know, I, did I you, was did out you, in Iraq. Did you ever keep a diary? No. Oh, no, you should. I, I wasn't it. See, I'm not interested in that stuff. Like you're saying, uh, who the hell needs all this? Tom, now listen, Tom. Have you got grandkids? No. Okay, I see I might have a few down in Brazil. I'm not sure. <laughs> I said, I said, I said, the guy says, said, said, why are they calling me daddy? Tom, I'm... Who are these kids and why are they calling me daddy? Tom, I'm 52, okay? 
And I've got, oh, I've got, listen, I know you are, but I've, oh, I started, yeah. listen, I started journaling when I was 26 years old, okay? And my only regret is I didn't start earlier. I've got two grandkids, and I will probably have a few more before, you know, my kids are through. Um, I think I think leaving a journal and a diary for your grandkids is the most wonderful thing in the world you oh, can leave your kids. kids you know, I mean, yeah. you've got a lot of kids, have you? Yeah. Same as, uh, but you don't, have, you, don't have any, you don't have any nieces? He's got a lot of kids, too, have not he? Yeah, he's got. I think he's got. Oh, he's got. The last count, I think he's, he's running nine now. Doesn't he? <laughs> he's, he's got a scoreboard at home, you know. That just keeps tallying oh, up I the, the totals. Girls, you know, all the guys in the ships. We, with all the girls we left behind. You know, what's that song? You know, to all the girls we left before. Or something? No, to all the girls I've loved before. Yeah, well, that's what they were camping out outside my Brazil. door. Beautiful women on Brazil. And Russia. Since you came along, oh, these people in Montreal, if they think communism is great, I don't know if the communists not. I've been in Russia when it was communist, not not so much now. How'd you but get out? Any, any communist country, they couldn't do that. How'd you, you get, get out? Up I, in China, I, down in Cuba, you wouldn't be able to demonstrate. You were in Russia when it was communist. How'd you get out? Yeah, I was in. Uh, I was on a ship. I t t we used to take grain over there. Oh boy! And uh, I was in Leningrad. Oh, it was awful. Anybody wants to live under that system is it's terrible. Yeah, well, they're they're all in denial. You know, they think they're. Yeah, but you get these people say, "Oh, I'm I'm, I'm a commie. I'm a yeah. rad, I'm, I'm a radical. I'm everything." I tell you, it opened a few of those guys that have done the ship with me. They were like that. I said, yeah, "How do you like this now?" They're all taught by wingnut uni university professors that are uh, trying to convince kids that communism is a better way. But you know, did this business in Quebec? Do you know, there's one thing about Trudeau. What did he say? Just watch me. He brought the army out. Remember uh, Trudeau? Hello, John. Well, at least those people that were fighting Trudeau were battling for independence. Yeah, but he didn't back down. Trudeau said, "Just watch me." Yeah, I know, and he didn't back down from a lot of other dumb things know, he did I too. Know, I know, you know, but I, I liked him for that though. He didn't. Uh, he said, "Just watch me." And the reporter asked him, "What well, would you?" He said, "Just watch me." He said, "You bleeding hearts," he called the guy. You know, and he said, "Just watch me." I guess he Jean. I, I, I guess I, I, I guess Jean Charest doesn't have those kind of guts, eh, Tom? Ah, uh, he, when he was in the federal government, he was no good either. He's chicken, these people. Yeah, uh, the, the army out there. There's, there's, they're so.